I talked about personality. I haven't talked too much about it, but I want to start off with that. To go, with, go to somebody for the first talk who knows about personality. He is the creator of the most successful bot in history so far, Smarter Child. How many of you have heard of Smarter Child? It was 15 years ago. And it was arguably successful because of personality. So I want to welcome to the stage Robert Hoffer, founder of Smarter Child. Where are you, Robert? There you are. Thank you. Thanks, Robert. It's a pleasure. Take it away. Do I get a clicker? Or maybe I can just do shadow pictures? It's all right. Thanks. All right. Here we go. So uh, then, the year 2000, we thought a lot of things about the year 2000. Uh, we started a company called Active Buddy um, to try and monetize the then three main chat platforms. They were AOL, Yahoo, and Microsoft Messenger. By far, uh, AOL AIM was the biggest. Um, Active Buddy lived as a company between 2000 and 2006. We created a bot called Smarter Child. Smarter Child was the first commercial chat bot and he talked with people, chattered in new information, and became somewhat popular across all of the various instant messenger platforms. Um, he was witty, he knew stuff, he had 30 million users in the first six months and was still growing. 5% of all instant message traffic, billions of messages a day, by far the most popular bot in history. By popular, I mean that people actually liked him they added him to their buddy lists. He was maybe not the earliest, but one of the earliest memes. And people would do all kinds of things. Uh, smarter Child versus Mr. T. Smarter Child versus Superman. Uh, they would try and convince Smarter Child to have sex with them. Almost everybody did. Almost everybody failed. If you pissed off Smarter Child, Smarter Child would hammer you into an apology before he would give you any more information. Because we determined that apart from being a technical problem, uh, creating a conversational natural language agent or a bot is actually an editorial problem. So personality was our hook. We wrapped a personality around information. And so if you're going to do bots today, like brands have a soul, give your bot a personality, your brand's personality. Give it a soul. Microsoft ultimately bought Smarter Child uh, for $46 million. Uh, I can thank Microsoft for my kids' college educations. Rutgers and the University of Texas at Austin are getting all of that money now. He was retired in uh, 2009. Goodbye, smarter child. So before that happened, we had started selling what we called brand bots. It happened quite by accident. There was a band by the name of Radiohead. And uh, Radiohead approached us and said, hey, we're launching an album, and we'd like to use a similar technology to Smarter Child to launch an album called Amnesiac. So we launched a bot for Radiohead called Googly Minotaur, and it was a huge hit. Uh, we had 60 million messages and a million people actually using Googly Minotaur before we retired him. So we found out that brands could use bots in a very successful way to communicate their brand messaging and to engage their audience. And in fact, we built over 150 bots after Microsoft purchased the company. So here we are now, fast forward to 2016. I'm amazed by what's happened here. I used to go to these conferences, and it was me and maybe two people. Now it's hundreds. So the reason is that I am, as we know, is way bigger. I'm not even going to list all of the various I am chat clients, but it's billions and billions of people. Um, so back then it was 300 million. Now it's billions. Uh, back then it was just text. But now it's multimedia in every way. It's text, it's audio, it's video, it's buttons, it's group chat, it's file sharing, it's notes, and of course, emojis. So it's gone from just text to now having to integrate everything. So Smarter Child is gone. Uh, rest in peace, Smarter Child. Uh, but his legacy apparently, uh, thankfully, lives on. I used to wonder uh, often as a kid how people like Bill Gates or Steve Jobs, my idols when I was growing up, or, uh, or people like Mark Zuckerberg still go to the office every day. And it's because it's not the money that motivates people in our business. It's the opportunity to be part of something very much bigger that keeps you going. 
So I can say that I've been very fortunate to be part of something very much bigger. Um, I'm just a proud father now. So thank you for listening to me and uh, enjoy the show.